Question two, use either the bigger than symbol or the smaller than symbol to make each statement true. So these are inequalities now. So we remember these by thinking of uh, crocodiles. So this sign, the crocodile's mouth, it's like this, is open to the bigger number because crocodiles are really greedy and they like to eat really big numbers. So it's open to the bigger number. So that means the number on this side would be bigger than the number on that side. So if the sign looked like this, then that means it would be open to the bigger number. So meaning that the bigger number would be over here and the smaller number would be here. So this number is smaller than the number over here. Sometimes you might see inequality signs with a little line underneath them or maybe the line here. So that means that this sign is open to the bigger number. So the bigger number is here. But if there's a line underneath, then it means that this number could be bigger than or equal to bigger than or the same as the number over here. And then flip that over again. The number this time on this side, this would be the bigger number because the sign is pointing to the bigger number meaning that the smaller number would be here or equal to this number over here. So we need to put these signs now into these missing spaces. So three is what than 12. So three is obviously smaller than 12. It's not the same as 12. So we'd be looking at these ones here. So three is smaller than 12. So I need this sign. How would I say this? 4 is what than minus 3? Well, if I look at um, my number line, 4 would be here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then my minus numbers. If I look at my number line, 4 is here and 3 is there. So 4 is bigger than minus 3. So it's not, it's not the same as minus 3, so I can't have any lines. I need the bigger than sign because 4 is bigger than minus 3. 0 0.25 is smaller because that, that first number after the decimal point is smaller than 5. 2 is smaller than 5. So that means that it's not the same as, so I don't need any lines underneath. So 0 0.25 is smaller than 0 0.5. Just because it's got an extra number here doesn't mean it's bigger than. We look at them in the tenth, hundredth, and so on. So this 2 is smaller than the 5, so that means it's smaller than. These ones here, we've got two negative numbers now. So if I had minus 15, which would be here, and minus 20, which would be here, minus 15 is actually closer to 0. So as the numbers get further away from zero, they get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's a bit strange because they're actually going up a digit. But actually, the higher the digit, the smaller the number is. So minus 20 is further away from zero. It's the higher digit. So that means that minus 20 is smaller than minus 15. It's not the same, is it? So I don't need any lines underneath. I need the smaller than symbol. So that will be here. So the examiner will give you two marks straight away if you have all four correct and one mark if you have three of them correct. Anything less than three correct is zero marks.